So let's talk about Tay K. I don't know if you're familiar. No. Okay, great. So he's a 17 year old rapper originally from Long Beach. He moved to Texas. So he has a huge record right now called The Race. He's been building momentum on SoundCloud for the past two years. Let's listen to the song and then talk about this. All right, so a little backstory. He was involved in a robbery July 2016. Um, someone was murdered during the robbery, so he was placed on house arrest. He did cut off his ankle monitor. He tweeted about it and then dropped this song the day he got arrested. So he is locked up, but this is very much he's rapping about what's really happening to him. So, Act, first, what do you think about the music and him being locked up? How is this affecting his buzz right now? I ain't gonna lie. I, I haven't been shy to say about this particular record. Uh, I think it's garbage. Um, I don't like it because I don't think it's a good song. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those songs, and, and this is the reason why I think it's is taken on to so many people, is that when the person's rapping about real life and everything is factual, it, it, that's part of the allure for even Bobby Schmurter's song. Like, a lot of songs become better when you know it's real. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, it's actually, like, art is really imitating life. This song is really him at a point of his life where he was about to go on a run. He, he's, he's, of course, and by the way, I'm not glamorizing anything he's accused of. He's accused of some serious things, including murder, so that's nothing to joke about. But when he put this record out, it was him speaking to everything he had going on. It was very true to his story. Uh, for me, the story is intriguing. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely sad because he's in jail now. But people have taken on to this record. Everyone's remixing it. Uh, it kind of mirrors X's story in a sense where X went to jail, had a record out, and the record made the Billboard charts with no promotion, no nothing, just because the internet took the record and is doing what the internet does. Um, unfortunately for him, I'm not too sure if he'll get out soon enough to really capitalize on this. And again, he's charged with some serious things, but this is, it, it, it's a story that I think we're going to see more of this like on online mm -hmm. where someone drops a record and it doesn't have to involve jail hopefully it doesn't but people are fascinated with the story i don't like the record that much i've listened to it a million times the record to me is not dope but story is definitely fascinating hip-hop loves anybody that they believe killed somebody before this is dating back to chiali shout out chiali that's my guy that, that, that's that, that's kind of sad isn't it what i mean so you agree that if people believed you you killed somebody, like they take on, and you're talking about it in your music, they take on to the music even more, right? That's, that's because, it, you know what I mean, murder is bad, but eh, a lot of shit sound good over a beat. Over 808, you know what I mean? You can say a lot of shit. Um, so you made the point that the story, his story is actually fueling the single. Do you like any of his other records? Uh, murder, She Wrote. I know there's a couple of jobs like Cooper. This nigga got a song called Murder, She Wrote? Oh, man. All right. But he's not being shy about it. If you're uh, tweeting that you're about to you ain't getting released escape either. your house arrest. Yeah. Again, I, I haven't taken on to his music like that yet. Mm. I'm, I'm trying to give it a chance. But again, his story is more fascinating. And I pray for him and also the families of all the people who claim they were um, victimized by some things. They and claim I don't did. want to disrespect Bobby Schmurter by, you know, he, you know, he's in jail. And we believed all that shit after we got more information. But when Schmurter's record popped off, we ain't know he was doing all that shit. Actually, we ain't know they was doing none of that. And whenever y'all want to start having conversations about rap song of the decade, I'm going Schmurter. Oh, you ready to have that conversation? I'm going Schmurter. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going Schmurter. Wait, 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 I'm wait. going Schmurter. As in, it's Whenever one of the best. Whenever y'all want to have the song um, of well, the... Well, I haven't... Listen, that's a, that's a... I freestyled that thought. So I haven't thought about some of the other this contenders. Is more than a hot take. <laughs> I, know. I haven't thought about some of the other contenders, but I, what's going to beat it? I would love to have that talk with y'all. Oh. I'm pretty sure. We'll you figure it out. Sounds like a good evergreen episode. Name, okay. Name one. Okay. Name one. Hey, hey. Name one. Don't we gotta... Hey, no. Let's go to the next topic right now. No, no, no. You say give you five minutes. Okay. I don't I, think I, it's I, that I, easy. Okay, go ahead. I don't go think go it's ahead. that easy. You don't think it's that easy? No. You want to come back to the next one? I'll come back to that. All right. Now I'll come back to the next one. Bobby Schmurter shit was so hard that it was hard. We loved it. He left. And then we let Young M.A. do it. That's how much we love that song. And then that song was the fucking song. And it's like, man, I ain't fucking with you. 
No. Are you even disputing this? Or are you no, just, no, no. Okay. It's not so in a decade. Like, it, <laughs> no, 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 no. He's one, saying it's one of I them. I just want to hear them. what you just think would pick. beat it. 